Jade Goody is the UK's most famous reality star. As a Big Brother housemate, Jade became an overnight celebrity with a high-profile career. But time in Celebrity Big Brother in 2007 brought an abrupt fall from grace and accusations of racism. Over the last three months, Living has been filming exclusively with Jade, at home as she gets her career back on track, and when events take a shocking turn as she receives devastating news about her health. Like a pain that shoots up here, and it goes into my back. I don't know what's, no, I don't know what's wrong with me. Twenty-seven-year-old Jade Goody lives in Essex with her two sons, Bobby and Freddie. It's 7 a.m. and time for the boys to get ready for school. Bye, Bobby. Morning, Freddie. Morning. You're in your brother's bed. Sneaky. Bobby. Got to get up. Since splitting up with boyfriend Jack ten months ago, Jade's been living alone. Jade is just like every mother in the morning, getting breakfast ready for three-year-old Freddie and five-year-old Bobby. Freddie wakes up really happy. And Freddie's like a morning person. Bobby's more like me. Takes him a couple of like minutes, probably an hour, to sort of wake up properly. It's like a typical Kevin. He's just like, oh, no, I don't want to do that. Just like, get up and do it. He has teenage drops. As if being a mum to two young boys wasn't enough, They've recently had a new addition to the family, a dog the boys have named Batman. Jade's obviously got her boys well toilet trained, but Batman the dog hasn't quite got the hang of things yet. Oh, I smell poo! Oh! Oh! <laughs> Get rid of the dog, boys! It's going! With Batman banished to the garden, at last everyone is in the car and the boys are off to school. Get in the car by about half eight and I'm in the car until half past ten. So from half past eight to half past ten, that's my school run. So, a long old school run. After the two-hour school run, it's back home. Jade has no home help and still has chores to do. I'm not, I'm not tight at all. I'd give anything to anybody. But I just think, why pay someone to do what you should do anyway? If I was a millionaire, I'd still probably do it. <laughs> Being house proud is important to Jade, but so is her children's future. I've got this house and two other houses, and my other house is one's Bobby's, one's Freddie's, they're theirs. So hopefully touch wood, everything's all right for me. When I come to sell that, or if anything, God forbid, happens to me, those houses are theirs, so their first car or their education or whatever they want to do or deposit to their house will come out of that. They've got a savings account, and I just put, like, £100 in every month since they've been born. So, and, that, and that's it, that's all they get, £100 each every month, and um, the house is... <laughs> but the, uh, the house is, if, if everything's all right, but if, oh, if everything goes really bad for me, then obviously I need to sell the houses and, and whatever, but thankfully that's not going to happen. It's six o'clock and it's dinner time. Boys, dinner's going to be done in a minute! <laughs> There's no rest for Jade, Boys, but life's done. never simple in the Goody household, even at dinner time. Bobby, lay down. After 14 hours on the go, 
The boys are finally in bed. Even Batman's sleeping, and Jade's thinking about her plans for the future. If I ever come into money, like large amounts of money, from something that not he never nated, ever na oh, not he never nated, ever nated, oh fuck, I know, ever nated, don't. <laughs> He never, he never tried to, he never... <laughs> what do your family give it to you? Not that, not that. Um, <laughs> knob. Not that. That, cos that's, you know, if that happens, good luck to you, but it's not creditable. I want, I want to do something that's creditable. I want to, I want to risk losing something at the risk of making something massive. I want to be able to sit back one day and say, do you know what? That's my business and it's doing really, really well. And do you know what? That's my, that's my... I don't know. That's my empire. I built that from nothing and it's doing really, really well. I've built myself from, from nothing and I've done really, really well. And Jade has done really, really well. But I want Jade's company to have done really, really well. And I want to sit back and then one day, when, one day later on, I want to look at, look at things, evaluate things and say, right, I've made enough money from that, I want to sell that now. And I want to be retired by 35 so I can enjoy myself. Coming up in part two. Jade's out on the town. <laughs> and sharing her deepest feelings. I can't deal with lies. I find it really difficult to deal with lies because of certain things in my past. It's not all work and no play. This evening, Jade's off for a party with her new best friend, Danielle. Hello, beautiful. You all right? Hi. Another single mum. They've been friends for seven years, but have become closer in the last few months. I look all right, I reckon, with my heels. Jade rarely goes anywhere without her. Yeah. Fuck you, you bitch. <laughs> I'm just going downstairs and doing my makeup. Come up, babes. Hey, you look nice. Your hair looks nice. Oh, this is like a two-second job. I'm not joking. What do you think about the bell? You don't... I'll give you just as many compliments as you I'll give me. I do give you a lot, though, don't I? Yeah, I'll give you a lot. It's not a one-way thing. I'm not saying it is. I don't think with the bell. I like it without the bell. Jade's been invited to a celebrity party in central London to promote Botox. And tonight, Danielle's driving. It's really big under the armpits. A night out with Jade hardly ever goes according to plan. See if we can have a night of no. Ah! <laughs> Why did I say that? Why did I say that? What was that? I mean, let's see if we can have a night of no. <laughs> ah! Oh, is it? <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, probably. Yeah, like probably like that, yeah. <laughs> they are now an hour late and lost, so they've ditched the car and are off to find a taxi. For Jade, there's no such thing as a regular night out on the town with a friend. Wherever she goes, the paparazzi follows. Hold it there, Jay. Jay, look into your eye, darling. Jay, look up. Yeah, Jay, Jay. 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 That's it. As Danielle is used to going out with Jade, she knows the rules. I know exactly when to move out of the way. But she always pulls me involved, like even with the press. She always drags me in, I'm like, Ooh. The party is in full flow. Jade's happy to promote Botox and herself into the bargain. One of the doctors said to me that you have to be careful because otherwise this will go into this. Okay? No, they won't be radius, but then I'm here to give you a little break, so there you go. On, then. Don't worry about it. I'll fix it. <laughs> Fucking hers is Botox <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> Right, this 
With the paparazzi out in force and their car several streets away, Jade comes up with a getaway plan. You know Chile? You know where is Chile? I don't want to get in the taxi. I'm making sure we're not in trouble. Anyway, I'm your bodyguard. Yeah, taxi, taxi. Can we have you? Thank you, thanks very much. After an eventful night, Jade's back home in Essex. She's in the final stages of writing a new book, and she's trying to find photos yeah, to illustrate yeah. her life story. I'll be honest, I don't actually know what I'm looking for. I'm just sort of just seeing what... Just photos, that, not pet photos, just photos like at home with my kids and like my mum and stuff like that. There's a few things in the book that I have real bad issues from and find it really difficult to talk about. And so people will be like, well, why are you writing about it in the book, which everyone's going to get to read? And that's because a lot of my issues stem from, you know, like the whole Big Brother thing. I'm not blaming my past on, I think, because it's stupid. But the whole Big Brother the thing, so, like the lies and that, I can't deal with lies, I just can't deal with lies. And so the fact that Shilpa said that she didn't order anything off the shopping list other than an Oxo cube, to people that just sounds ridiculous to even argue over. But it's just lies. I can't deal with lies. I find it really difficult to deal with lies because of certain things in my past. And so I just ne I need answers. I need answers of how to deal with things. And I just I don't know. After Celebrity Big Brother, Jade decided to have some intensive therapy to address her anger and other personal issues. But she's still looking for help. The biggest thing for me is asking for help. I've never asked for help. I've never felt I've needed any help. I've just thought, oh, no, oh, no. I've always been the helper to other people, so the biggest thing to me to sort of sit up and say is, do you know what, I'm not embarrassed to ask for help and I'm not embarrassed to say that I need help, neither. So that's the biggest thing for me and, and I will get it. It's just finding the right people because it's difficult for me as well. It's not just like Mary from next door going down and asking a, a, um, a, a meditation person or a life coach or... or or like a, I don't know, or a therapist or something to help you, it's me and and people, I don't know, you either get people that, I've rang up a few people, put it this way, I've rang up a few people and this is what I get, oh, Jay, yeah, lovely, we'd love to help you. That's too much excitement for me. It's, no, I don't want someone to see me from Jade who's in the magazines. I want Jade, you're just a normal girl. So it's hard for me because I ring people and I get that sort of, that sort of excitement and sort of, um, I'm your fan behind it, and I don't want someone that's my fan behind it. I want someone that sees me as just Jade from next door because I can't, how can I let my guard down and be genuine with somebody that I'm looking at thinking, and, and, another, and another thing, like, there's other people that want to help me, but they want to help me to get their profile up. I, I don't want that. It's not good enough for me. I don't want to be... I, I don't want to sound selfish, but I don't want to be someone's experiment. I don't want to be someone's help to, to get their profile up. I want someone to help me. For now, Jade's search for help with her past will have to wait. She's got a meeting in Milton Keynes with her new business partner, cosmetic therapist Neelim Patel. Together they've got ambitious plans to set up a fit camp that offers a total lifestyle change for people with weight issues. She approached me and it was a good idea and I looked, I saw the potential in it and then I thought about the publicity side of things and how Jade has a problem with her weight and 
everything herself and all of the controversy that she's had recently, I think it's a chance for her to prove herself. And I have got a soft spot for her too. But um, it is a challenge. I think she just has that drive and enthusiasm that I like. So I think that's why I've, I decided to go for it. Whilst Neelam has set up a busy schedule of staff interviews and meetings, Jade's decided to have her eyelashes done. Sophie is a genius and she transforms my eyes and from small eyelashes to long eyelashes. I just like the way my eyes look with my eyelashes on. It just looks nicer, photograph better. Big lips and big eyelashes, lovely. <laughs> Jade's finished with her eyelashes and should have set off 25 minutes ago for her important Fit Camp meeting. Oh, and I put my dress in yesterday in the wrong dry cleaners. I thought it was the one to go in and I thought it was a bit odd. And then when I went to Danielle, she went, oh my God, I can't believe you put it in there. They're new, they're not very good, they're cheap. So I'm worried. And I told them to take two inches off of my dress. So it probably will come out looking like a mini skirt. Although she needs to make up time to get to her meeting, it's all gone wrong at the dry cleaners. What size is this? And Jade decides her priority is to buy a new dress. <sighs> Thanks a lot. Bye, girls. Thanks very much. Bye. New dress on board, Jade hits the road for Milton Keynes, where business partner Neelam has now been waiting half an hour. Late or not, the fit camp is a crucial part of Jade's future. Work and interest from the media had almost dried up for Jade in the past year, so in her eyes, she can't afford for the business not to work. I haven't really worked properly for nearly a, nearly a whole year. I've done the odd bits here and there, photo shows, TV appearances, but nothing as major as what I did before. Um, so I had to live off my savings, and all I had, it's not all because it's a lot of money, but for somebody who has a lot of outgoings, it isn't a lot of money, because when you have money, you spend more money because um, you buy bigger things and whatever. So for the whole year, I had 160 or 170 grand to live off of. Now, that's a lot of money to a lot of people, and I appreciate that. But to some of the outgoings, they're like, I'm not going to tell you much my outgoings are every month, but uh, roughly around the 12, £12,000 mark, that you put it into comparison, it's not really a lot of money when you don't know when your next a bit of work is coming in. To make more money, Jade has to take the project seriously. She's already late for a crucial meeting. So why would Neelam choose Jade as a business partner? Jade's fun to work with, and she gives you that sort of lift and a bit of a boost when you're feeling a bit down with things, but she's difficult to work with because her schedule's so busy, mine's so busy, and actually getting hold of her is a problem. And then uh, she's not very organised, so I wouldn't say it's the easiest job in the world. I think it's a job in itself to work with her. Just arrived here now to meet Neelam. Um, I'm just under two hours late because it's five to two. I was meant to be at 12, so I'm just under two hours late. So it's not that bad. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> the traffic was horrendous and I have to admit, I can't lie, I stopped and had my eyelashes done. I had a nightmare with my dress. I'm so sorry, I really, really am. Well, wind. Um, <laughs> One word, that's all I can say. Sorry. No, don't worry, don't There's worry. There's a waiting room full of people out there and I've just said hello quickly to them. Do you know what, don't worry, because um, well, you've missed about a few, quite a few of them today. The nutritionist uh, has had to not come in anyway, but we've probably missed about seven or eight people. Bank manager, we've seen Bank tonight. manager, I just need some forms filled in and right. he wants a photocopy of your passport. Okay. I've got an insurance company, they're all quoting at the minute, but we will have an insurance policy for us. Yeah, just in okay. case someone dies or something on the camp, which they won't hopefully. But I've made sure there's a doctor, we've got the dentist down... <coughs> no, we've got a den dentist downstairs, he's a doctor. We've got my nurses. Yeah. So we, know, we are covered. Yeah. I don't know all your team. Don't anyway. worry. Everything's so professional because I haven't allowed for anything for There's anyone no for no to come and say, oh, look, they're not even done that. You know, no. everything's covered. Neelam has organised for the fit camp to take place at an exquisite manor house. So the two business partners are off for an inspection tour. It looks nice. Nice grand, isn't it? I'm not going to have a drive. And on the way up, it looks like we're going out of the country. This must be the kitchen. She did say that it's being done up at the minute. Good cooker. Oh, that's good. And this is, it's got an arga. Is that an arga? Yeah, no, I think so. What is that? That's a fridge. No way. Yeah. I oh don't my know. God. 
Oh, it's it is. Yeah. I think it needs to be one remember that. What's this? This is... It needs to be in the room where everyone sits yeah. as they're green tea. She's quite happy for us to to do things, you know. Nice big flowers. And it's nice. Yeah. It's lovely. I love the high scene and everything. It's that warmly. Lovely. Homely. That's the word. <laughs> <laughs> Look down there. This is where we're going to chuck them. If we cake them, if we catch them eating anything they shouldn't eat, if they're not doing the correct amount of sit-ups, and, and if, if they're, they're not, not on time, if they're not on time, take a shot of that. That's where you're going, bitches. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up in part three, Jade's off to Great Yarmouth for a typical British holiday, <laughs> and she's in party mood at the polo. I can't wait to get in there and start. Jade's taking a break from working on a new business and plans to enjoy a day out. As the face of the new Fit Camp, Jade has promised to get in shape for the launch. But today, that couldn't be further from her mind. She's off for a proper Essex day out at the Polo. Can I have my friends? I'm not on my own. Photographs with friends over. And it's back to Jade the Celebrity. Thank you very much I'm going to drag him off for two seconds just to do a shot and then we'll do one to come There's polo going on somewhere, but it's not the horses that Jade and Danielle are focusing on. Am I actually going to watch the match? No! Am I going to drink? Yes! <laughs> it's four hours down and quite a few drinks later and Jade and Danielle decide to take over the pitch. Both brands of Ricky Gervais. She does the most amazing, amazing imitation of him. Watch this. Go on. Huh? Go on. What? Say so <laughs> I love her. That's why she's my best mate. Fun over and a bit worse for wear, Jade spots her ex-boyfriend, Jack Tweed. I look at him and I just think, I will never, ever hate you, no matter what you've done to me, no matter how many times you've supposedly cheated on me or have cheated on me, I will never hate you because my children love you, really, really love you and really look up to you. And I met him when he was a, I met him when he was a boy. If I met him when he was 25, things might have been different, but I met him when he was 18. And, that's how it is, really, onwards and upwards. But has she had a nice day? Ten to seven, I'm more than half cut. I'm really, really enjoying myself. The music is picking up. I cannot wait to get in there and start. It's chaos in the Goody household as they're off on a family holiday. Good boy. After a trip to a local laundrette, packing is not going smoothly. I've got people's pants! <laughs> I've got boys' pants! These aren't mine, I don't even have a man! What is going on? I've got someone's underwear! <laughs> I'm going to show you how far we're going. Mm, don't know if this. Where's London? Look. Oh, this is just ridiculous. I am looking for Belur. No, no, we've got Liverpool. London. So we're here. So London, and we're going to Great Yarmouth, which I've been told is near Norfolk. So, this is getting bored. So here, wait, wait. 45 foot, right, I found it. Page 40 to 45. Right, and now, Great Yarmouth. Oh, Where God. Great Yarmouth, oh. <laughs> I don't know where anything is. I don't, I don't understand maps because I don't see the logic. Because when the line runs out here, where does it go? And I'm being deadly serious. I don't know what you do with maps when the line goes off. There's no other lines. Great Yarmouth! There you are. There's Great Yarmouth. So now we need to find London. So where's London to Great Yarmouth? Fertford, Kings Lynn. 
Do you know what, B? We don't need to look at this. We just need to know we're going Great Yarmouth and it goes in the sat nav, yeah? The boys have chosen a weekend away at a caravan park in Great Yarmouth. They're going with Jade's best friend, Danielle, and her two-year-old daughter, Rosie. <laughs> Even on a family holiday, there's no time off for Jade the celebrity. People constantly want autographs or photos, and Jade is always happy to oblige. Yes, thank you, not bad. Oh, no, yeah, she's up there. It's my friends that will go straight there. My two boys are there. Yeah, not bad. Do you have a nice time? Oh, you bye-bye. Bye. Jade's so used to her celebrity status, she barely notices the attention she gets. <laughs> a few people as I was driving, it was like, oh, my God, look who's driving. But I don't know. It's only because Danielle tells me I'd live yes to it. Hello. Yeah, of course you can. Next day, and it's time to check out the beach and enjoy the best of the British sunshine. I need to get him something because they're going to get cold. He's soaking. You're going to get sore willies and everything. Jade's got her unique way of making things better. Hiya. You got a tumble dryer? Let's get you undressed. Back in the dry, it's time for tea. But after two days at the seaside, it's clear that Jade's healthy living for Fit Camp isn't going according to plan. Wait, wait, wait. My guts are not particularly good at the moment. Not because I'm going, but because I'm not going. I've not eaten very well here. My stomach has blown up. Well, I'm not saying I was a size eight when I come here, but it's blown up a lot. I can't... I'll just give you a peek through, bro. Check that out. You're just giving me a what? A, a, Sneak preview. <laughs> Look, I can't do it up. This is not an advertiser for my fit cam, by the way. I'm getting in shape as come Monday. But this is um, this is because I've not had any, like, fibre. I'm getting back pains in me, everything. I haven't had any fruit, no veg. I'm just dying to go to the toilet, but it's not happening. Oh, pardon. <laughs> A year ago, Jade's career and personal life were in tatters. She spent the last 12 months focusing on her family life and getting back into the public eye. But now, she's taking on the biggest business venture of her life, Fit Camp. This is a boot camp. The aim of this boot camp is to increase your fitness in the short time we've got. When the instructors are talking, you're not talking. You're not laughing, you're not messing about. If you have any questions, you're to ask the questions at the appropriate time. If you get it wrong, you'll suffer. I didn't crank my legs. Did you want to... Down. What? Press that oh, position. Oh. Go. What was that for, Jade? Talking. Good. Ah. It could be a real pain. Ah. Yeah? Five. For the next two days, they'll be testing out all aspects of the camp ahead of the launch later in the year. OK, right, last circuit. She's fucking out of the the brains and Jade's the body, so the pressure's on. Come on, 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 come on,
Next on the list is the Adventure Ropes course. See, I'm cocky Stephen, you know, I'm like, oh yeah, I'm all right, Danny, and when I get up there, I'll be crapping it. Oh! Oh! As well as burning oh! calories, this particular section of the camp's designed to get them working together to overcome their fears. <laughs> Please don't laugh. No, my arm's caught in this rope. Is the rope all right? See if you can get oh, it no. over your head. No, please don't. Right, hold on. No. <laughs> I can't. I'm stuck with the rope. The rope was in the wrong place. Oh, God. What did that done to me? Neelan. Neelan. Neelan, let's go. Yeah, well done, girl. Oh, she looked like she really enjoyed that. Oh, I don't want to do it. Oh, I don't want to do it. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Come on, then, Wonder Woman. Let's go. Do you know what is terrifying? It isn't easy, and my arms are aching. And how's your uh, business partner doing? Um, well, I, I looked over, and she did look like she was crying. <laughs> I'm so wow. I'm like a big sissy. At the end of the day, it's time to reflect on how things are going. You know what, it's great having an idea and then you just think, oh my God, yeah, yeah, we can do it, we can do it, but put it into action, I'll tell you what, it's harder than I thought. You are the brains and I'm the body. Have you seen my body? No, I'm I need to get into shape. But even though you have got to lose the weight, isn't, you haven't got to be a size six by October or November. Do you know what I mean? You just start, need to start losing weight and maintaining it. I'm a yo-yo diet. I'm, I'm going to be nervous eating a burger. I'm Do you just know what, Jay? Our camp is about real people. You're a real woman. We're going to have the same kind of women that you are coming on our camp. Neelam's brought hypnotherapist Christian Baker on board and Jade's going to undergo a session. She relaxes into the therapy but will it make any difference? And then relax those tiny muscles in and around your eyes. Relax them to that point where they feel so comfortable, so at ease, that it almost feels as if they cannot be bothered to open. Full of energy, yet completely relaxed, refreshed, recharged, and completely re-energised, knowing that that good feeling will remain with you long after you open your eyes. Fantastic. How's that feel? <laughs> That's probably one of the most weirdest amazing things I've ever done. Yeah. So all the time you're saying to yourself, both out loud and in your own head, I don't want this... The session seems to have struck a chord with Jade, and she feels it has much to offer her in the future. Yeah. I'm gutted that I've not done it sooner. Like, so gutted, like, emotionally inside me that I've not done it sooner because you could have helped me massively before. There's lots of, there's lots of things in there. You, you can't look back and regret on that. You've, you've just got to think... You probably weren't at the right time. No, I am now. I know I am. That was... But it's also you, you didn't know where oh, to go for, Jade. <laughs> <going on. laughs> okay, With one. business booming and Jade feeling optimistic, she faces a terrible setback. A week later, she collapses at home and is rushed into hospital. What happened then? What happened? I collapsed on my floor. I have to laugh because I'm just, I'm just, I was on my own with fucking Batman. Well, I got a white bed. No, no. I collapsed on my floor upstairs in the bathroom. You know why? I had bad pain. For the, I was telling you I had pain two days before, and then I thought I was on my period, and then all of a sudden, oh my god, gushes everywhere. It was horrible, and I didn't know what to do. And I, I thought, right, I was that day downstairs in the front room, so I, I thought, right, I ran the ambulance downstairs in the front room, and they said to me, get some things together, so they're all there, so when the ambulance comes, we just go. In the ambulance, they said, what, you're allergic to us, a penicillin. I didn't know I was allergic to morphine as well. They give me morphine. I was just in the ambulance, I don't know what, I was just going around. I was having so much gas in there because I was in too much pain. I got into here, and I just, I couldn't breathe. I just... It was horrible. I can't even really remember. I just, all I remember is about ten people around me going, Jay, Jay, focus, I was doing all these lights in my eyes, and I was just gone. But now I've just got pain. I, the other day I had some food and I was sick and on my bed, on my bed. I got off my bed and then I fell to the floor. They come in, and they were like, "Where's the pain?" And I was like, "In my lala." And they were like, "Where?" And I was like. In my la la, <laughs> they didn't obviously understand where I was meaning. I didn't know what to say. I didn't know what to call it. And I was thinking, I was getting embarrassed. I was thinking, I was like, in my vagina. <laughs> I, was, I was thinking, I was just at the vagina word, and I was horrible. I don't want to keep saying that. What do I call it?
After five days in hospital, Jade's recuperating at home with her boys. But with the state of her condition unclear, Jade tries to keep her life as normal as possible. I've had cancer scares a few times. Um, I think this is probably my third time. The first time was bowel cancer, um, but they discovered that it wasn't. The second time, I think, was ovary or something, something inside me. Um, and then the third time, which is now, is um, on your cervix, which is quite common on ladies, but um, this is my fourth or third time with the same one, and every time the cells come back, when they burn them away, every time they come back, they're coming back worse and looking more red normal. So it's just a matter of waiting for my results now. But I think I'll be all right. I, I don't know, there's no point being upset and worrying about it before... before I know, so I'll just deal with it. Are you just keeping yourself busy and sort of just blacking yeah. it out then? Yeah, that's how I do things. I just black things out, I just ignore it and then cross that bridge and I come to it. It's no point being all sad and all worried about it because I might be fine. And then I've just wasted however many months being all down and depressed about it, so I'll just... It's fine. Right, sorry, excuse me. Coming up in part four, Jade heads off for a big job opportunity and speaks frankly about her cancer. Which is the equivalent of a heart, tra heart transplant. After five days recuperating at home and with no definite diagnosis, Jade is offered the biggest job opportunity she's had for two years. Oh, you like the show? And now I'm off. She feels she can't turn down the publicity and money she'll get from Indian Big Brother. But only a few days into the show, Jade gets devastating news. She has cancer. She flies back to the UK and with press speculation rife, she wants to get the story straight. I work for my family. If I am not around, my family suffer. So the first thing that is important to me is my health. So for one second, no matter if there was a million pound waiting for me, for one second, if somebody said to me, there's a chance you could have cancer and there's a chance you may need to come back to hospital, I wouldn't have never gone. Straight after she found out about it, Jade being Jade kind of you know, stayed at home and literally, you know, I say to her, you lock yourself in your house and, you know, you're trying to deal with the situation on your own. So I knew that it was going to be so hard to get to her, get through to her. So I did go into my own little shell and stay in on my own and not really talk to anybody and just be polite and text people back. But I thought of it and I thought, what am I achieving? I'm achieving nothing, you know. The, I'm ill, so what? I'm ill, I'm so what? And if I, if I keep saying I'm ill and I'm not, you know, and oh, I'm not well, I'm going to feel worse and worse and worse. As well as best friend Danielle, Jade's found support in her ex-boyfriend of two years, Jack Tweed. But at Jade's time of crisis, Jack has been sent to prison. In a way, it's given me something else because it's given me something else to worry about. So instead of worrying about myself, it's, you know, it's given me a little bit of control. So I'm like, right, well, I've got a bit of control now because now I can worry about somebody and not have to worry about myself. So I'm worrying about him, but I've got no reason to worry about him, actually, because he's doing all right. Jade wants to make sure that her boys are protected from her battle ahead. But there's five and four. Now, there's no reason in my eyes for me to use the big C word to them or death or anything like that because it's daunting and they don't understand it anyway. Oh, they don't understand death, I'm in heaven, but why would I want to tell my children that? I'd never want my kids to be like... Yes. Oh, what's happening to mummy? I want them to be like, yeah, my mum's lost her hair because she used the wrong shampoo. But, you know, and I'm happy with that. I'm happy, but not happy, but... <laughs> Jade's still got hopes and dreams for her future. Oh, I am 27 and I am lucky because I've got two children, but I've always wanted a little girl. It's not going to happen, and so I've just got to get my head around that, but... It's hard, like, I've seen babies the other day at one of my friend's parties, like Danielle, her little girl Rosie, it was her birthday, and there was loads of kids there and there was little babies there, and I could just hear people in the background having conversations about, like, the first snappy chat, and it, it got me. 
I just see her eyes filling up and I just thought, oh, my God, I know what she's thinking, sorry. Oh. I could see that she was getting upset with it and it just makes me feel sick to think that she couldn't... She felt bad about not being able to have children. And obviously I've got a little girl and she loves Rosie and stuff, but I felt really, really, really bad for her and I took her upstairs and I tried to give her a cuddle, but she doesn't want my help, you know. She's like, no, don't come near me, I don't want your help. But it's really hard to watch that in a girl that's 27 years of age because she wants to build, an, you know, a new life and a new family with somebody. Jade's diagnosis is not clear, but she knows she has a big operation ahead of her. I'm having a radical hysterectomy, which is the equivalent of a heart, tra heart transplant. So it's a very, very ser serious operation. And I know people will be thinking, I'm thinking, well, she's laughing about it. She's not taking it seriously. Trust me, there's nobody taking it more seriously than myself because I, I have to, because there are, there, are consequ there are consequences here which I don't really want to face, but I have to face them. Um, but the way I'm dealing with it is my own way of dealing with things and it's like putting on a smile and having a little laugh about it. And that's how I do with it. And I do believe that laughing is a great cure, so I'm just going to laugh my way through this and hopefully in the operation and the intensive care, I'm, I'm laughing. <laughs> I'm laughing, but no, um, um, there's not a chance, there's not a possibility of me dying because I won't let there be. There, there can't be, it can't be an option. I, I have to see my kids grow up. There, it's not an option.